Okay, here we are again. Week seven, lab four, experiment one. Week seven, lab four, experiment one. And what do we need? Well, we need five grams of gum acacia that should be in your kit. It'll look like this. Okay. Mortar and pestle. Mortar, pestle. Mortar, pestle. I, I'm reminded of, oh, there they are right there. I'm reminded of the Three Stooges movie when they were, uh, they were pharmacists, that, that was fun. And, um, and uh, Mo hit, uh, Mo hit Larry with the pestle. And he said, hey, you hit me with the pestle. He said, be glad I didn't hit you with the mortar. And that's how I remember, because the mortar is bigger than the pestle. So if that helps, great, okay. <clears throat> Vegetable oil, vegetable oil, uh, water, okay. Um, water, water everywhere, get it from anywhere. I happen to have a bottle, which is good because I don't have a sink, but you can, you know, uh, before you start, grab yourself a, a glass of water um, from anywhere. Uh, graduated cylinders, the 100 ml and the 10 ml, okay, uh, an emulsion container, there's our emulsion container, um, and a label, so we can label it when we're done, excellent, 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 uh, we will need our scale, so here's our handy dandy scale. Uh, I don't know, frankly, uh, when I turn mine on, it says uh, to, to calibrate it, you know, by pressing the M button. And um, it comes up 500 grams. Well, I, I don't have anything that I am certain is 500 grams, and I'm pretty sure that you don't either, okay? So we're skipping that step. It seems to be working just fine. Uh, and it's something that you would never do at work because your scale would already have been calibrated. <clears throat> so we're going to assume that the scale is calibrated correctly. It works out, works out just fine. And uh, so these directions that are inside here, we're not going to, we're not going to worry our little heads over them too much. Okay. All right. Um, so there's our scale. And a weighing boat, you've seen weighing boats before, we've used them before. So there it is there. I might do this, I might do this sitting down. This seems to, I seem to be, instead of just, um, you know, from the waist. <laughs> I got all these videos of me from the waist down. Something seems wrong about that. Okay, anyway, so there we go. All right, oh, and, and we need to put gloves on. Under pair of gloves. Okay. And this, you should have gloves in your kit. I don't think you have a lot of them, so uh, be prepared to reuse them. Okay, just in case. All right. So we're going to wash our hands and uh, due to the fact that there's no sink here, uh, I'm going to use. I'm going to use this emulsified ethyl alcohol. I said emulsified because I, I just read the word. I'm going to use this uh, aerosolized ethyl alcohol. And that's going to be my hand washing. So there we are. See how clean? Okay. Um, and the gloves go on. I think I could use like one size bigger, maybe, or maybe two sizes bigger. That's all right. At least if, if they're tight, um, presuming you can get your fingers all the way down to the end of them, if they're tight, 
you feel like you've got better touch because it becomes like a second skin. It is not as clumsy. You don't want your gloves to be real big and clumsy. <laughs> okay. It's better. This one doesn't seem to. There we go. Well, I blew a glove. No, I've never done that before. But that glove wasn't cooperating anyway, so I'm prepared to stay. More. Oh, good. Okay. That was a medium. This is a large. Just should work out a little better. They had extra small, too. I knew that's a So we are, we are uh, washed and we have our gloves on. Okay, now as you recall, they, they talk about a procedure for weighing uh, that involves weighing the boat and then uh, recording the weight and then taking the boat off and, and, and subtracting that from the weight that you have so that you know you have the right uh, weight without taking into account the weight of the boat. Okay, our scale tears, and most scales that you will use just about anywhere today will tear. Okay, and tear means uh, you just push a button and it 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 re-zeroes it. So that's what we're going to do. We'll turn on the scale. Okay, and it should come to zero, and then I'm going to put the boat on, okay, and it'll come to some weight. In this case, it's 11.7 grams, okay, and, and we want to be able to discount that 11.7 grams from the weight when we're weighing things, of course. All right, so I'm going to push the button on the right side of the screen, and it's going to go out. And then it's going to come back on again. And it's going to come on. It'll fluctuate back and forth a little. There. Okay. And then it's going to read zero. So there we have it. Um, so the, the, uh, the weight of the boat is now subtracted automatically from the, uh, the weight of the product that we're weighing. Okay. All right. Now. We're going to measure out five grams of gum acacia and we're going to set it aside. Okay, so what I'm going to do, get your metal spatula. Okay. They don't tell you in the, uh, in the lab manual that you, that you need to have a metal spatula, but uh, I'm lucky it was nearby and I could find it quick. All right. So uh, open up your gum acacia. And the, the best way to weigh things like this is to just grab some on your spatula and drop it. Now my, hold on, my, okay, we're good. If the, uh, if, if while you're waiting for it, the light goes out, you got to, Take it back off again. All right, I'm at 5.8 grams. I'm going to go get some back. 5.2 is still a little heavy. See what I'm watching the scale and I'm tapping a small amount from the end of the spatula back into the weighing boat until it gets up to five. Okay, that's going to work. Okay, so 
that there's five grams of acacia gum. Turn off the scale. Um, it's only batteries, so you want to turn it off when you're done or it'll be dead next time you come. All right. Okay, and then just set it aside. Wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, 20 ml of oil, okay. Now we put the oil in the 100 ml um, graduated cylinder because uh, the amount of the water is 10 ml and 20 ml won't fit in there. Okay, so we're going to put, put the oil in this 20 ml. graduated cylinder. Okay. Again, read the meniscus at the bottom, not on the edges. Um, with some things, it's a little easier to see the meniscus. I noticed that yesterday, uh, which to you was last week, um, when we were measuring cherry syrup, it it didn't make a good meniscus. It, it wasn't real clear uh, what the meniscus was. This is better. Okay, so um, there you have it. Because I'm holding it up, and it should be sitting on a on a stable surface. But so you can see it, I'm oh, you, you know what I can do? Uh, put it down and move the camera. Okay, so there you can you can see that the the surface is is kind of curved, and you want the bottom of that curve to be on the 20 mL mark. Okay, just to give you an idea of what is a meniscus and and what does it do? What's it for? Uh, what's it look like? And that's pretty much what it looks like. You can see that uh, uh, it, it's almost a distinguishable line at the top there. That's where it creeps up the surfaces and you want to make sure that you're um, reading the level um, at the bottom of the meniscus. I don't know if I don't know if you can see my cursor pointing at it or not on the on this video. But there it is. Okay. Meniscus measuring liquids Okay, you get the idea. <clears throat> so there's our 20 milliliters of oil, and this is going to be our 10 milliliters of water. I gotta tell you, I'm not real happy with these plastic graduated cylinders. They're hard to see. Whereas if I put my glasses on, that might help too, huh? All right, we're good. We're good. That's 10 mLs. Right, so we got 10 mLs of water and 20 mLs of oil. So <clears throat> if you if you read the paragraphs ahead of the uh, lab exercise, it, um, it explains that the emulsion is in whatever there's the most of. So this is a water in oil emulsion, water in oil, because there's more oil than there is water, okay? And what we are doing here today is the dry gum method of um, creating an emulsion. All right. So we're going to put the oil in our mortar. Here we go. I think this is uh, Western oil or something. It's it's cooking oil. Yeah. Probably.
probably the ancients used olive oil. That was the that was the standard oil um, a thousand years ago, and uh, it's still a staple today uh, in cooking as well. As uh, as uh, compounding. Okay. Um, oil in the mortar and then put in the gum. Okay, so you, now you know why they call this dry. Because <clears throat> we're going to put the gum in and there's no water in there yet. Okay, so this is the dry method. Okay, as opposed to the wet method where you mix it up with the um, water and then add the oil. This is uh, generally, I think, preferred. Okay, so there we have it. And we're going to mix the gum uh, well into the oil. Okay, and that seems to have gone very easily. It looks, it looks like it's all dissolved. I don't see any granules. I don't see any particles. Do you? Okay, there we go. Ta-da. I think this... I'm not used to doing this kind of work sitting. Uh, it, it's a standing kind of a work. Uh, but as you can tell, if I'm sitting, you can you can see me and see the work at the same time. So um, that, that makes it all work. But I can probably. Yeah. Okay. And I know. Uh, you're going to face some challenges making your video. Um, it would be really good if you could find a helper. You know, if you know somebody um, who can help you, who can be your cameraman, help you make the video. Um, otherwise, it's going to be really awkward. And we'll make a lot of allowances for that. I understand that. But uh, <clears throat> um, you're left to your devices in terms of making the video and uh, as I am okay so we'll get through this all right so we have we have mixed the gum acacia with the oil okay and now we're going to put the water in but I won't buy okay and we're just going to put that in in a, in a hurry and we're going to mix this up and it's going to it's you're going to see a change in nature It's going to get thicker. And it's going to change somewhat in color.
it says here, quickly add the water where it may not work. And I don't see it changing color. Um, sometimes it's not a bad idea uh, if it fails and you do it again. <laughs> okay. um, I want to try something here so we can all see it together. Because if you remember, I added the oil to the acacia and it mixed up and then I spent a lot of time showing it to you and talking about it and I may have blown it. Uh, I am going to not a bad lesson really. Uh, let's see how this how this works. Because there's the there's what I have done so far. And it, uh, you know, actually, I'm not so disappointed in it. I don't see, I don't see a lot of separation. Okay, in fact, I don't see separation. And it's, it's, uh, it's blended together. But it was my impression that this was going to change color uh, more. Okay, and so let's try. It only takes a minute. I'm not afraid to embarrass myself. Uh, let's try again uh, more quickly. More compounding and less talking. All right, I'm tearing my wing boat. Okay. Oil. Give it a good mix. Get the acacia all well dispersed throughout the oil.
And when that is done, add the water. And then mix. Okay, leave it alone. I'm going to get another beaker so we can look at it. Yes. Notice the difference in the color. Okay. So <clears throat> once you get the acacia and the oil mixed, make sure that you uh, get pretty aggressive about uh, getting the water in there and getting it mixed up. See the difference in the color? Okay, the one on the, the one on the well, <clears throat> your right, my left, I don't know. The one in the little medicine cup is the one that was done uh, I'll say better, okay. Uh, and notice the one on the left, it's starting to separate already. Now that they, they will all separate. It's an emulsion, okay? It's not a solution. It's an emulsion, <clears throat> and so they they will separate. You can expect that. Um, and that's why you use the Shake Well label. Right, so I'm going to pour from here over here, so I don't make a big mess. There we go, right into the bottle. There it is, it's in the emulsion bottle. Um, and if you get any on the outside, which clearly I have done, get a paper towel and wipe it off. Um, one thing so it's not messy. Other thing so the label will stick. Okay, because the label won't stick if it's uh, if there's a lot of oil in the bottle. Okay, so we've done that. Um, it mentions in the uh, lab instructions that frequently when you do this, especially if you're, if you're working somewhere that does it regularly, um, they have mechanical equipment for it, okay? They have, they have uh, high-speed blenders and so forth. I've seen people use uh, the magic egg. You've seen the magic egg um, advertised on TV. Um, for making emulsions and suspensions. <clears throat> it's a high-speed blender, and, and they do a nice job. But uh, we learned the classic way. We learned the way that, uh, where we're not cheating. Notice the, the color. It's, it, it's a nice color, and it's fairly uniform, and that's the idea, okay? Now, we put it in the bottle. We are going to 
label it. I'm going to write shake well right across the top here. Um, in practice, well, there are two things in practice that you should know about. Um, there are stickers that come in a roll that you can put on okay, that say shake well. Okay. Furthermore, um, <clears throat> you have a hard time finding a place to work these days that, that uh, is not computerized. And in that case, the computer will print the label and these programs are sophisticated enough that if it needs a shake well label, it'll also print that for you. The auxiliary labels that are indicated print uh, from the computer uh, onto the label stock, and so it'll print you a shake well label. So one way or another, uh, you'll have a you'll have a shake well label. Okay, uh, and this is this is a water in oil emulsion. I'm just going to label it that way. Okay. And we had 10 mLs of water and 20 mLs of oil. So we have 30 mLs, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay. Today's October 10th. And there's my initials. But I'm pumped. If we lay the bottle down, we can get the label on straighter. So that's what we're talking about. Laying the bottle down, getting the label on straighter. And the label's telling me you didn't get enough oil off of there when you wiped it. You might want to wipe it with uh, a little alcohol on a paper towel. <laughs> okay. I did get it on. Okay. So there's your, there's your product. Okay. Very good. That's week seven. And I'll see you next week at week eight. Keep in touch.